Hello everybody and welcome to the demo for Gelly Fields. This is a game by Wonder Pond and it is a uh, side-scrolling farming sim where we are trying to hold back corruption. So let's uh, jump in and have a look at exactly what that involves. Uh, I guess one. If you have a previous save you may need to enter the settings and delete all. I do not. This is the first time I have ever played this so let's go. <laughs> Like many of the things I play right now, I do not go and necessarily try them out first. Sometimes I do. We'll see. Sometimes. All right. So nice to meet you, uh, employee. This is the CT manager. Before we get started, here's your copy of the contract. I hope we finish this soon. It's so gross and muddy here. Here's my contract. Cluco. I think Cluco. Transportation, employee contract, job position, corruption removal, accepting this job agrees to these terms. 1. Revealing company secrets will result in immediate termination and legal action will be taken. 2. Breaks or paid time off will result in immediate termination. <laughs> I love that one. Kluku Transportation can take any glim or chance job... Oh, take any glim or change job payment at any time. Is glim the money in this? Wonderful. Okay, so I asked you to come here to Friendly Fields because Mr. Gelbert sent in a request for us to move corruption here and to meet the new employer quote, employee quota. Sorry, It's hard to read this text. I apologise if I make mistakes. It's a bit unsightly and it's your job to clean it up. The way to remove corruption is with a magic spell formed from somewhere in the surrounding area. It never can be easy, can it? The best way to find out how to create these spells is to talk to someone who knows the area well, like Mr. Gilbert here. I need to return to your train station and oversee the final preparations. When you finish this job, meet me there to complete your training. Finally, no more mud. Alright. Gilbert. I wouldn't exactly call that training. If I was a bit younger, I'd tackle this corruption myself, but I know you'll be a perfect fit for the job. I visit here once every morning with my chickadee peppercorn. One day the corruption showed up and Pepper doesn't want to go anywhere near it. Not good, right? I don't blame you, peppercorn. Ho 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 ho! Good thing I know exactly how to get rid of this nasty stuff and get my little Pepper happy again. A few days ago I fed one of the local gellies, one of the turnaps that grow here, and it cast a spell that flew right at the corruption. Speaking of gellies, it looks like... or jellies maybe. Maybe it's a jelly. Is it? Is it gelly or jelly? Is it gif or jif? It looks like we have a visitor. Oh ho ho! Why hello there little gloopert! Gellies are mysterious and magical creatures. If you want to stop this corruption, you'll need to form bonds with these little ones. And what better way than a good meal? This is a gelly travels gift shop. These are all over the place and have useful items for sale. Looks like turnip seeds are in stock. That's a perfect snack for Gloopert and his friends. <laughs> this is a sell box. Just drop any items you want to sell in there and you'll get a glim in exchange. Okay. Most Gelly travel locations have a sell box, but some places you've got to earn money other ways. Ho, 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 ho. This one does though, so that's great. This is a Luna Pond machine. You press the button on the side a few times and it gives you a Luna Pond with a mystery item inside. Sometimes you might even get a rare gold Luna Pond. Okay. This is usually where Mr. Collector is, but he's not here today. Okay. If you find any gritter items like bugs, feathers and fish, just drop them in the box with the bug on it. Okay. Oh, critter. Not gritter. You can't sell critter items or give them to gelly, gellies, sorry, so it's great that Mr. Collector is here to take them. I think you've learned all you need to know. Feed the gellies, put the critters in the box, sell things, grow turnips. I need to head home now, but I know you'll do a great job. If you ever get lost, feel free to interact with everything. It's a good way to learn. Sounds great. Like that stick. Where can I put it though? Huh. Glue put. Aww. He loves me. Oh, he came closer. So, me is actually me. 
There is no... There is no player character in this. Interesting. Gilbert's notes. Number one. Press E or uh, button on your controller to open the inventory. Okay. Sometimes you just need some extra places to put items. Okay, so we've got a few places to put items. So I could take that stick maybe and put it in my inventory. No? Looks like I can... Oh, it looks like I now have a... Oh, I see. So I can chop trees. I can... Cost me money, though. All right, okay. Okay, I put the stick in my inventory. Well done, me! Woohoo! All right, then, Gloopert. Is Maxwell your friend, Gloopert? All right, so let's buy the turnip seeds for seven. Let's see if we can plant them somewhere. Yay, I planted a turnip. Do we need to water it? Don't know. That seems to be my turnip field for now. What this? Friendly fields, challenge board, plant 10 turnips. Jungle wood 200, plant sweet root, Con obtain glim, float the fruit, and luck levels. And I get stars for that, apparently. Uh, press escape to pause the game. Sometimes you just need to change settings or take a step away for a minute. That's very true. Three bounces out of that. Aha. My luck level up there or something. That was really cool. I like that. That was fun times. Not seeing any bugs. Is there anything beyond this? What's the edge of the map? That is the edge of the map in that direction. Who are you? What is this? Press shift or right button, right bumper. To move around quicker, sometimes you just have places to be. And that is the end of this map. Okay. There is a bird there. There is a house there. There are some critters there. Ah. Let's take Gurna and put them in the critter box. Yeah. Buttons, hello. You're very cute. Am I allowed to take any of these? I mean, I've put some of them in there, but I don't really know what they did. They leveled up my luck or something. Ah, I got another turnip seed out of there. Nice. Can we plant it? Yeah. I got another one. Oh, I got some coins. Very nice. So what have we done so far? We've planted two turnips. Oh, juggle. Juggle the wood. Oh, if I do enough of that. I've done 17 out of 200. Float the fruit. Is there fruit? 
Is there another, like another like little puzzle thing like that somewhere else? Am I allowed to do anything with those? No. I'm going to juggle the wood some more then. It's a thing to do while my stuff grows, right? Maybe I could do 200 in one go. That was a fast one. Some of them are faster than others, seemingly. Luck level up. Leveling up this luck of mine. I don't know exactly whether that helps with anything. to beat I think uh, nine that time how many have we managed now 59 out of 100 oh we've got, I've got another one of these as well okay. what do we get another one another turnip seed let's go and plant that one are these ready now I think they might be Yeah. Can I feed it to you? Yeah, yeah I figure like Okay. That was some money. I tell Max while well I love him. Oh, there's definitely notes that we have seen before. So where's float the fruit then? There's another turn up seed. Oh yeah, because we've been getting money this whole time, haven't we? But I've only got about three places I can plant a turnip. Can we get rid of that? Oh yeah, there's another place we can plant a turnip then, isn't there? Right there. Can we cut that tree? Hey, I sold the, the, the leaf. Okay, cool. 35 to make it to get an axe. Oh, maybe I should do that Instead of keeping on buying those things an axe might be useful. I wonder if I can make some more money from this Jumps. Twelve is my is my thing to beat. Nearly luck level five. Luck level up, Lunapon. More money for me. So we've now got the 35 we need to take that tree out. And I can sell like all the leaves and stuff. I'm figuring I'm not going to need leaves and sticks. Which gives me more room to uh, grow 
more of these. What happened there? I got like more turnout seeds or something. Feeding Gloopert the turnips. Go on, Gloopert. What is that? Go on, Gloopert. I love you. Ah, he's not listening to me. Alright, more turnip seeds, please. Can I not plant one in there? Oh yeah, there we are. Yay, star rank five. Woohoo! I don't know what happens with your star rank though. I don't know how to float the fruit. And I don't know how to get sweet fruit yet. So those are things that we don't haven't worked out, but why can't I have those ones? They look like they should be for me. I'm going to have a look around and see if there's any, like, critters. That I can steal. Now. There you go. These are all just things to do while you're sort of waiting around. That giant blob looks like it needs to go, doesn't it? See, there's one fruit tree there. Luck level up Lunapon. Sun snap turn up. Where where did my my beautiful dude go? There you are, Gloopert. Can I re can I can I feed that one to you? Looks like that did lots. Cool. Come on, Gloopert, we can do it. You're gonna cut that tree down with the power with the power of turnaps. What happens if I give them to Maxwell? Did he do anything? I don't know, I think maybe Maxwell does do stuff. Ah, <gasps> so close! One more, one more, one more. Bye! Woohoo! Uh, corruption removed. New shop item. Level 2. Old crates. Oh, so these are like levels. Okay, cool. Red Pompey seeds and turnip seeds. Okay. Let's do a couple of turnip seeds. And now we've got more room to plant, so that's quite nice. I need to do that little wood puzzle to try and like make some money, I guess. Yeah. Let's do it. Hi, buttons. I love you. Time you lock up you get a lunar pawn and that helps you sort of keep get money and things to plant to do the corruption so this is important
That was good. Uh, so I've got a Luna Pond there. Let's go get that out. A little bit of money. So that's just enough to get a red Pompey seed. So I think I will plant one of those because we've got quite a few of these guys. Now then, if I sell one of these turnaps instead of using it, how much money? 13. So that's almost enough to get two more seeds out of it. So I'm going to sell these turnaps so that I have money to buy more seeds. Is there now a rock there? Oh, that's irritating. I'll pay 25 to remove the rock. That just randomly spawned. How dare it. How annoying. Red Pompey. How much does that sell for? Don't know. Went up to 49 from whatever it was. 24. We're down to 25. That's so annoying. Ooh, I got like one of those cool turnips. I think that might be a good one to sell as well. Get rid of the stone. I will sell the stone. Seven for three each. So I've got six back. Oh no, I've got nine back from that 25 I spent to get rid of it. It's not awful. Try and keep things planted so stuff doesn't grow in its place. That one I imagine I am going to want to just sell though. So we're going to try and push this back and get my I've got a level up Luna Pond as well so let's sell those so we're up to 38 38, 39, 40 so they sell for 35 and I've got a blue Pompey seed I've got lots of them now. Wonderful. This is a cute, cute game. This is, yeah, really fun. So we've got one. So how much do we go up to? If what's twenty twenty seven? That sells for. So they all sell for a bit more than it takes to plant them. So we want to probably start feeding the turnips back to the gelly again. I'm also going to try and make another I'll eventually need to use my inventory, put these into inventory to get things out of the way but for now Everything that I remove, I'm going to try and plant a seed in its place um, so that I don't have to So blue Pompey, how much that sell for? 35, nice. Red Pompey, also 35. Gleaming Pompey. Red Pompey to sell. Blue Pompey to plant. Red Pompey to sell. Uh, plant plant so the pompies are like my cash crop and these are now going to get fed to the gellies or jellies or whatever you want to call them so 
If I feed you a turnip, will you hurt the corruption? Yes, you did. Nice. So Maxwell works as well. As well as glue put. I don't know if buttons works though. I don't know what the deal is with buttons. If buttons counts as a galley as well. I'm going to get rid of that, that and that. So we can plant some more stuff. is so addictive. Oh yeah, we've got the gleaming one. I wonder how much that goes for. We're on 101, so let's sell the gleaming one and see how much. 66? Wow! I'll sell for 65 then. Making some good money here, but I'm trying to make sure that I don't let rocks and things grow anymore. So whenever I do something like take those somewhere, throw them over there, I want to make sure I replace them. So I don't have to pay for rocks to be removed. I don't know if that is really the case if that's what happened but I think it might be alright then let's get my inventory up E and put sell that stick I'm more used to what I'm doing now and then E and then I'll feed them to glue put corruption down But did you do anything to the corruption there at all? I'm not 100% certain on that one. I don't know if Gloopit needs to be closer to the corruption. Head one to buttons just just for the fun of it. The old crates are they're they're getting through them slowly, so there's three more. Remember my inventory. Oops. Gosh, it's a lot of work tending these fields, huh? Right, done. So we've got quite a few of these as well to do. Another turn up seed. I'll pop over here somewhere. And another turn up seed. Special turn ups. All right, let's go. Let's go feed those to one of the guys then. I think whenever I feed them, a little bit of corruption gone. Thank you, Glubert. Let's see what happened there. We're down halfway to getting rid of the old crates. Lovely.
put those away. Uh, that can be planted there. I'm getting seeds back a lot of the time now, which is really nice. Feed that to buttons. I think things like sun snaps is probably a good idea just to... I don't know whether you get extra for feeding them, stuff like that, but... Probably better just to make the money out of them, honestly. Got another Luna Pond from that. You sleep in. I'm supposed to feed you stuff if you if you all sleep in. In the middle of the day as well. Okay, I guess I put that in my inventory for later. Oh, you're awake now. Oh, lovely. Did I just feed you too much? Okay, let's get some of these. Yeah. One. Again, use my inventory. Inventory isn't something you use a ton for things. It's just just good to get turn apps over to the little dudes. then. Where are ya? Let's feed ya some turnips and then I'll go and see how we're doing. I might feed ya uh, a pomp, uh, yeah a pompy and see how that does. So at the moment that is nearly done. Can I, can I feed you a Pompey, did that do any more damage? I'm not certain, to be honest. Are you kidding me? That That is how long it took for like grass and stuff to grow there. That's ridiculous. Makes you so angry. I'm literally dealing with things and it's like, hey, hey, there's a rock there now. Pay 25. No. <laughs> no pay 25. Okay, yeah, it's only that side of the line, isn't it? So... How are we doing now? We're nearly there. We are nearly, nearly there. I'm going to plant a few more of the... Got to be careful not to do too many at once or rocks will grow. Just a couple at a time. And then you sell them. And you replant. So on some levels, you don't have the cell box. I'm so intrigued. This is only the demo, so I'm imagining that we're probably only going to get the one level. I imagine you're going to want the inventory a lot more as you get further into the level as well because the cell box won't be like right next to you anymore. Do 
I'm going to pop those into my inventory. And I'm going to plant some more. make sure the plants are filling every space there then I think we can finish level two now because I think we're nearly there with it are we done yes level two old crates are gone bye bye old crates corruption remove new shop item also we can float the fruit you float fruit? Like throw it? I did this. Float, float. Did that did that count at all? Float the fruit. Zero out of one. Hmm. It's one of the few things I haven't actually done. Can you float it on top of a cloud? Can you float it on top of the moon? Can you float it on top of a bug? Can you float it on top of this guy? That's amusing, but not quite what I think they wanted us to do. That's another one on top of that guy's back. Mwahaha. Sorry, I'm back. I thought I heard something. Floating the fruit? I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to be doing with that. I'll stick another one on that guy. I'll pop this one in the box. I don't know if there's any, like... Oh, I'm supposed to get money for that. Right, okay. I've got loads of money. Where did I get all this money from? Okay, sweet root seeds. Planting sweet root was a thing that we were supposed to do. Float the fruit. I just have no idea what that is. If I don't manage to work that out by the end, do let me know. I'm gonna juggle some more wood because it's part of my, I'm halfway through the, the wood juggling stuff. I need to have another couple of goes at it. Well, this is a cute, fun little game. So I imagine there's gonna be other levels where you've got to like work things out and Work out what you're doing and do your planting and move back the corruption. Definitely, definitely getting into it. Oops. 18, that wasn't too bad. 
just come over here and do like 20 every so often, then we'll soon get to our target. I've no idea whether <laughs> me getting level 13 luck actually totally put me off there. So how are we doing for that? We're 132. And we're on 13 out of 20 luck levels. Uh, we've obtained 300 of the 500 glim. So I need to have that in my inventory at the same time. Oh. Didn't exactly want to do that. I best keep those in case. I may never know how to float the fruit now because I like if those go away, I've got six of them. And I will never know how to float the fruit. I haven't tried to sell one, so I will try and sell one. That doesn't appear to do anything. Let's get any seeds out of here that I can. Any seeds, any money. Any money, any seeds. So yeah, just trying to replace what I plant. Um, okay, so we've got the mud cubes. We're trying to get rid of those at the moment. And then there is one final one at the end here. Okay, so. How many sweet root did they want us to plant? 15, okay. Well, there's a few turn apps here to do. And I can replace those with some sweet roots over time. Lovely stuff. Sweet root 243 plus 57 57 plus 11 is 60 uh 68 I think they sell for 68 and you buy them for 35 so they should give me quite a lot of money back So I'll plant that back in then. Plant that in. Go and feed my friends, my little dudes. My little glooper over here. I think I'll overall take out the corruption. But... I don't know, this, this is big. That might take a bit of doing. Do you have one growing on your head? That's adorable. I'm just going to put these over here. I don't know how you float a float fruit. No idea. Do I want to bounce some fruit again? No, actually what I want to do is take these to sweet root. Sell them and get some more sweet root. Well, I feel like that would be how we'd get to 500. There we are. We got our star rank for completing Glim. It's 
why I wanted to sell them in that particular order. We need to get 15 of these planted. So I imagine I'll be able to do that pretty swiftly. Right. Let's have a look. How many have we done? 13 out of 15. Not too bad, is it? Get a couple of these guys out. Brr. I think that might be our 15th one or 14th. No, 15th one done. We've got 20 stars. I don't know what you do with stars. Gellis of Friendly Fields. Oh, Gellies. Sorry. Yeah, Gellies of Gelly Fields. Friendly Fields. So Gloopert loves to fester buttons and Maxwell any chance they can get. Oh, Pester. Buttons and Maxwell any chance they get, even though they're both, they both push Glooper around. Okay. Favourite item. Gifts given to you. Times fed their favourite item. Hmm. So maybe there's like different things you can feed them then. There's like a whole library here. I don't know what that is. I don't think that's sweet root. I don't necessarily think any of their favourites are here. No, I don't think they are. I think you'd maybe find those in other levels. I'm not sure. Let's see what this is. Extra stuff for us. Wonderful. Uh, we'll bounce the log a bit more. I don't know how many more times we need to do this now. Oh, I'm having terrible luck with it. Mostly because I'm trying to think how many times I need to bounce it. So we need to bounce that another 50 times plus 3 times plus 10 times. 50, 63, 63 times. Let's see if we can do 63 in one go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, nah, thirteen, okay. Lucky number. Now it only needs to be 50 times. Five, not... 50, not five. Now it needs to be 45 times. Ish. Also five times. Let's see if we can do a little bit better, at least. Maybe 10. Let's go for 10. Seven. <laughs> I can't even manage 10. How many have we got to go now? 33. Can we do 33 in a row? Probably not. When I get a luck level up, it tends to really distract me. <laughs> 11. That's a third of my 33 I needed. I feel like we're so close now, I need to just finish it. Like, 
got 20 to go. Can we do 20? We could do 20 in one go, can't we? I've done it before. We can do this. So this one's really fast. Max, wow, you're in the way. This, uh, we're nearly there now. I think we've only got about 10 to go. Yay! We've got 30 stars. I don't know what the, th the stars even do. No idea. No idea what you do with a star. Super exciting though. Okay. Um, I've got lots of things that I can feed to my dudes, so... I have no idea whether I should be feeding, like, these sweet roots to them or anything like that. Does that help you be more, like, damaging? I did quite a bit of damage, actually, yeah. well you can try a sweet root as well right then I need to get a few more of these to plant there's some cool music actually because what I don't want is a whole load of grass and rubbish taking over my fields again that was super annoying a new tree grew there it's not a fruit tree anymore. I'm really sad that I let the fruit tree die. Probably not the end of the world, but still. I'm not, I'm not amused with myself for it. I don't think I can probably plant there but that's that's fine let's just feed them everything that's in my inventory and see how close that's gotten me now to taking out the mid the mud cubes sorry that are over there it's gotten me a bit closer gosh where are they now there you are Probably should have used my inventory for that. How close are we now? Probably one thing away. There we are. It's gone. Wonderful. Charm got plant power. Seeds plant extra crops. Oh, fantastic. The level 5 boss, the Kloku Transport Abandoned Cart. Once we've done that, we're done. You know what I haven't tried doing? It's feeding a float, float, float fruit to one of these guys. Just in case that was how you did a float the fruit. No. <sighs> I just don't know. So luck levels. I'm going to look online and see if anybody knows. Gelly Field. Float, float the fruit. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will, will know that. Or will have done anything with that. No.
No, no one's written how to do that. Sad times. If anyone knows, put it in the comments, please, because I don't think I'm going to be working that one out. Right. Let's do some more planting. Um, these need to just go somewhere. throw them nah I just need to work on other stuff uh, if there's not even anything online about it I really can't tell you how I would even go about doing that Plant some more sweet root seeds. Oh, I get two per seed now. That's so much better. Look at that leaf. I'm gonna plant a load of sweet root from now on. So some of these need to be sold, I think. Um, Sell those guys. Seems to be three per planting, which is wonderful. I somehow messed that up, but that's fine. Gonna go and feed those to one of the gellies. jellies or whatever you want to call them to get this level five boss done probably just will get rid of that tree Definitely is three per now. That's a lot easier to deal with and to make money from. Then I can just bring this over here and just be like, boom. Except I can't because apparently there's all stuff in the way. Ugh, so annoying. Get one more. We should probably have enough stuff here to probably take out this uh, abandoned cart, but... Find them and feed them. Oh, they eat leaves and stuff as well. Nice. Let's have a look then. Oh, 
We are nearly halfway through the abandoned cart now, so let's take six of these. Put them in my inventory. And buy two seeds to replace them. It's perfect. Thing is, I've completely filled this whole area with these things but then they're growing too fast for me to properly make use of them really okay how's it doing it's nearly there actually I'm not going to worry too much about replanting, actually. I'm just going to take what we've got, I think, because I think we're ready enough. Take this thing down. Go on, buttons. Go on, glue put. If that six didn't do it, the next six will. Right. Whee. Whee. So I'm guessing there might be... Oh, there we go. Clocku transportation job report. Job description. Remove corruption in friendly fields for Mr. Gilbert. Complete. Reward. 25 stars. Finish. I don't know what stars do. I don't know if we'll ever know. I would imagine that that's probably the end of the demo. You're back. Good job. Welcome to your very own Clocku transportation train station. This is where you return after every job. Feel free to take a look around. Okay, so we get to at least see what we spend our points on, I guess, probably here. This is like a, a shop for stars. Choose biome. Every job you complete awards you with a star rank. You can use the star rank to open amenities like this one here. Some amenities are for fun, but others will come with perks that help make your job easier. You'll need all the help you can get. I'll be leaving now, and just in time, it looks like you have a visitor. Hello, Gilbert. Ho, ho, ho. Hello again. Thank you so much for clearing out the corruption in friendly fields. To be honest, I wasn't very hopeful when I contacted Kluku, oh, Kluku, I think, transportation. Ever since they created these railways, it seems like bad things have soon followed. Not you, though. Ho, ho, ho. You seem to really care. I didn't just come here to give thanks. I know where there may be more corruption. There's a park high in the mountains called Rocky Retreat. I overheard news that there was a cave-in and a strange purple energy flowing from the caves. Oh, sounds like a good job opportunity to me. Just use the world map to the left wherever you're ready to, sorry, whenever you're ready to go. Oh, a nice train station. Ho, ho, ho. So I've got lots of stars on the last one, so I've got 55 stars to spend now. Vending machine increases power of click grow. Choose biome, and then this looks like a, what's that, amenity build. What is this place? Is it a shop? Why is there a ball here? Maybe that's one that's just for fun. Fifty-five stars and nothing to spend them all on. That guy doesn't want to talk to me. All right, let's have a look on the bi the biome friendly fields. Rocky retreat. 
So it has two maps there that you can try. So I, what I would say is I'm going to finish it there. Having done, having gone to the train station and having done uh, friendly fields. But it looks like they give you two levels to do if you so choose. If you guys want to download that demo yourself. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more demos and first looks at things, then please do subscribe. I can let you know when videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.